Are you tired of losing money trading cryptocurrencies? Sign up for my free trading AI with over 50% monthly return on your investment. Link is in the description. Greetings, gentlemen. South Korean investors have been paying XRP a lot of attention all year of attention all year. By the way, the XRP community has continued to query the asset exclusion despite Ripple's earlier declaration about its absence from the liquidity hub. We shall examine what the general counsel for Ripple has to say about it. Lastly, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong recently revealed that the exchange is considering leaving the United States. But it is still unclear what effect its departure will have on the SEC, the US, and cryptocurrencies in general. Follow me through to the end to learn more. Check out this new video as soon as possible if this sounds like something that would be of interest to you. The bulk of crypto enthusiasts around the world continue to appreciate XRP, but recent statistics indicate that South Korean investors have become more interested in the asset. As a result, based on trading volume this year, XRP has comfortably established itself as the most widely used asset in South Korea. This is supported by information from the crypto market intelligence provider Keiko. Recently, we conducted an analysis of the leading altcoins in the cryptocurrency markets based on the volume of trades they have seen since 2023's first day. The four main exchanges in Korea as well as Coinbase were included in the research, which took into account volumes across various exchanges. Data from the Keiko study reveals that since the year's beginning, XRP trade volume on the four biggest exchanges in South Korea has increased considerably, to an estimated $16 billion. The volume of Nano and Dogecoin, which are ranked second and third, is more than three times greater in the figure. In fact, the aggregate transaction volume of the three assets that ensure the additions to the second through fourth positions on these exchanges is greater than that of XRP. For background, Bidham Coin 1 and Gopax are two of the four largest exchanges in South Korea. Recall that last month, XRP surpassed Bitcoin in terms of trade volume on these platforms. About $500 million in volume for the assets in a single day was seen. Following the asset price boom that got underway on March 21, there was a sharp increase in the number of XRP trades. The rally flooded XRP with a tremendous amount of demand. Furthermore, Keiko claimed in a previous study that demand from Korean investors was a big factor in the XRP surge. The market data company, however, found that South Korean retail investors, not institutions, accounted for the majority of this demand. Along with the rising interest from Korean investors, whales throughout the world have kept building up their holdings of XRP, particularly in expectation of a positive outcome in the Ripple v. SEC lawsuit. According to whale stats data, the top 100 whales on the Binance Smart Chain currently control more than 52.6 million XRP tokens, worth an estimated $26.8 million. Also, a CoinMetrics chart showed that the number of addresses holding at least 10,000 XRP tokens has more than doubled since the SEC case started, rising from a level below 120k in December 2020 to over 266k at the moment. In the meantime, the price of XRP is 51 cents right now, up 0% over the previous day. Please, don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel in order to receive more updates on the most recent events as soon as they happen. Stuart Alderity, General Counsel or Chief Legal Officer at Ripple, has responded to inquiries from the community regarding the omission of XRP from the technology company's recently released liquidity hub solution. The Silicon Valley Corporation kept other cryptocurrencies but purposefully left out the asset. Alderity used Twitter to address the questions, closely watched a Twitter chat on the subject led by lawyer John Deaton, and raised the lawyer's remarks. Alderity provided these explanations because he was unable to attend the meeting. Alderity highlighted in a different stream of tweets that Liquidity Hub is designed for businesses or institutions, not for individual consumers. The product therefore needs a lot of liquidity, but there isn't much of it available in the US for XRP. When we can offer a positive client experience, we're eager to support XRP and LH, he continued. He continued by pointing out that Liquidity Hub has always been marketed as a tool for gaining access to liquidity from a variety of crypto assets, not just XRP. 
Alderity stated that the majority of its customers are U.S.-based institutions. Additionally, the demands of these clients cover a range of assets, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and stablecoins. Alderity claims that Ripple aims to satisfy these requirements. He also brought out the regulatory ambiguities that surround XRP in the U.S. because of Ripple's pending SEC litigation. Alderity emphasized that institutional clients, particularly those in the United States, value regulatory clarity because using a product that offers XRP could result in SEC enforcement action. Alderity also outlined the differences between ODL and Liquidity Hub, highlighting the fact that the former supports XRP and will do so in the future. Recall that quickly after worries that it had excluded XRP surfaced, Ripple clarified the situation. The XRP community is still asking questions despite the firm's response. At the Twitter Spaces session, Attorney Deaton also attempted to address the problem. Deaton stated that he does not place blame on supporters who are dissatisfied by Ripple's decision but added that the move was made to allay any potential concerns voiced by businesses using liquidity hubs, particularly those situated in the United States like J. P. Morgan, Coinbase, and others. Deaton claims that the SEC might have served the court with a preliminary injunction ordering the suspension of the liquidity hub if it contained XRP as a factor in this determination. What effect would Coinbase's departure have on the SEC, us, and cryptocurrencies in general? That is our main concern today. Please remember to hit the notification button and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about any developments involving XRP Pro. The CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, recently stated that because of the current regulatory uncertainties, Coinbase may really leave the United States. XRP lawyer John Deaton has responded to these recent claims. When presenting at Fintech Week in London, Armstrong disclosed this information. The regulatory environment in the United States has not been good for crypto companies and the local crypto industry, according to a report from Bloomberg Today. Some industry leaders have lamented the plethora of adverse enforcement actions. In light of this, Armstrong disclosed that Coinbase, now America's largest exchange, may think about leaving the nation. According to Armstrong, anything is on the table, including moving or doing whatever is necessary, if the regulatory environment does not lean towards favorable territory. According to Armstrong, a lack of regulatory clarity prevents the United States from developing into a sizable market for cryptocurrencies. He added that if clear regulations for the cryptocurrency industry are not set up in the U.S., in a couple of years, Coinbase might need to explore investment opportunities elsewhere. In the past few weeks, Coinbase has become the second exchange to draw attention to problems with the regulatory environment in the United States. Last month, Exchange Bitrix stated that it would be closing its U.S. operations. Shortly following this statement, the U.S. cited unfavorable restrictions. Bitrix was accused by the SEC of running an unlicensed securities exchange. Since the SEC continues to classify certain of the assets listed on the exchange as securities, Coinbase has also encountered its fair share of regulatory issues. In light of this pattern, Coinbase is currently thinking about moving. Deaton commented on the idea of Coinbase. Deaton underlined that nations like the UAE are embracing an influx of crypto enterprises while the US is recording an outflow while responding to reports of a favorable regulatory outlook for crypto assets in the United Arab Emirates. When bringing up the Coinbase revelation, Deaton emphasized that the company had taken all necessary precautions to maintain compliance and had even been given permission to go public two years prior. The attorney referred to SEC Chair Gary Ginsler when he said that the difference between then and today is the appearance of one unelected bureaucrat. Moreover, Deaton stated during Gary Ginsler's testimony before Congress today that the crypto business might not receive any legislative clarity from Congress in the ensuing years. Politics is polarized as usual, and American invention is being killed out in real time. He said, We must win in court. Alright, gentlemen, this concludes the video. Please be sure to like the video if you found it enjoyable. Don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. I find that the YouTube algorithm is greatly aided by this. Sharing this video with as many people as you can will also help enlighten others in the same way that you have been enlightened.
Let's spread the word about this, guys. Don't miss any of our stuff if you are a serious Bitcoin enthusiast. We'll chat about the most recent news that affects our entire community tomorrow.